In 1979, scientists succeeded in coaxing ordinary bacteria to manufacture insulin for the treatment of diabetes. It was the first time humans had essentially hijacked genetic machinery to make a useful substance. Since then, the idea of retooling living organisms for new functions has evolved into a field known as synthetic biology. And while researchers have refined many ways of producing useful chemicals and materials through this approach, perhaps the most exciting applications are just beginning to emerge. This is quite literally hacking life. One of the most attractive features of synthetic biology for creating new materials is undoubtedly its potential to be sustainable. After all, what's greener than nature itself? But beyond the favourable implications for the environment lies the prospect of exerting the ultimate level of control over chemical composition. Using a genetic engineering approach similar to that used to synthesise insulin, researchers have for many years engineered bacteria to produce polymers like PHAs, which can be processed into biodegradable plastics, and butane dial, the basis for stretchy materials such as spandex. But by manipulating the genetic material of bacteria and other organisms, they can also be tailored to make new sorts of protein-based polymers, including ones that incorporate amino acids not found in nature. The next logical step is to control synthesis across different scales. This is where synthetic biology really stands to make an impact on the construction of materials. Nature orchestrates the patterning of complex molecules over many different length scales to give, say, seashells their toughness or butterfly wings their iridescence. Synthetic biology could grant researchers access to the machinery to pull off similar feats, and some that even nature can't achieve. By incorporating an ability to interface with inorganic materials in genetically programmed bacteria, for example, researchers can pattern metallic nanostructures for use in devices such as pressure sensors or as a way of storing bits of information. While the future of synthetic biology as a source of new materials is bright, it won't be easy to realise. For one, as the structure and function of designer materials become more complex, so too must the machinery that scientists use to produce them. And there's the problem of economic viability. Though many applications of synthetic biology have been demonstrated, whether they can be scaled up to produce meaningful quantities of material isn't yet clear. But with a payoff that stands to benefit our health, productivity and technological capability, while minimising our carbon footprint, the challenges are well worth taking on.